welcome to neutral side action and we're just about ready for kickoff this coin toss presented by nissan innovation that excites We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He's out to the 30. Oh, what a hit. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. the stop at the 40-yard line. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. Nice run there. Seven yards there for the halfback, and he also picks up a new set of downs. Again, they go with the halfback here, and again, he picks up some positive yardage and a first down. He makes it to the 48-yard line, and he gets a yard on the run. Yeah, there's not much room there for the ball carrier. The safety did a nice job of stepping up from the secondary and made a good stop before he could get many yards. It's second and ten. Ball on the 48. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. down. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Pressure. And he's tackled at the 24. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24 yard line. Looking for the corner. They'll bring him down around the 25 yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. They'll line it up again on third down. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. This to try to put his team up by a field goal. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He 
He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. From their own 37 yard line. Second down. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws a bullet over the middle. He's taken down at about the 41. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? Has some daylight. Nice run to the outside. They're about four yards away here on second down. Quick throw to the tight end. And down he goes at the 19. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. him hard at the 17. That's good for gaining two yards. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Tackle at about the 15-yard line. Gaining two yards. That'll bring up third and six. Exciting first quarter comes to an end. Three, nothing. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Quick strike to the back, no good. So it's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. If he hits this, we're all tied up. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Gets out to about the 31. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Here's the halfback. Brought down at about the 29-yard line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Fires to his fullback, no good. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. Try 
tries to get around the corner. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Gets to about the 44-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 44. He's at the 40, inside the 30, and he's brought down at the 20-yard line. First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. There's a play fake. Goes to the end zone. Tipped away. Well-designed route, but tip your cap to the safety for making a real heads-up play with the deflection. Makes it to the 11. A nine-yard pickup by the tailback on the counter play. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Heading for the corner. Good tackle there in space. He gets out to about the nine yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And he is drilled at the 10-yard line, and they'll lose a yard there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. And this play is number eight on the drive. it up the middle for a nice run. It's third and goal from the three, and this is a very big play for both teams. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. And it pays off. Touchdown. has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 58-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He's out to the 30. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games that you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws it in a hurry. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled right away. in the middle and they make the stop right around the 44 yard line first and 10 ball on the 44 yard line
caught. Open field. Nice pass there, and the quarterback was under a lot of pressure from the defense. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. The offense calls a timeout. From the 39-yard line, second down. There's a strike complete. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. That's a great tackle at the 12. Gets rid of it quickly. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Here's the eighth play of the series. It's a touchdown. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. An eight-play, 68-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. at the strength. He's into the open field. And he's level at the 39. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. Tackle made around the 21-yard line. The offense calls a timeout. First and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. They go with a toss. Makes it out to about the 13. A gain of eight on the carry. Fires out to his receiver. And he shoved out of bounds at about the five-yard line. So we played two quarters. And a 10-10 tie in this game. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely. you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf? Some astral turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Very close game now as we start the second half. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Four yards there on the old quarterback keeper. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 29-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Out of bounds, right around the 34. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. And he's taken down right around the 40. Second down and 10 to go. All on their own 40. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. That makes it for Gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Give to the tailback. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. We've got a second and 11. Ball on their own 28. Going deep. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. Well, the defense stood tall there. Boy, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Got the corner. Here's an opening. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, it's first down.
hit before he can go anywhere. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He's taken down around the 26-yard line. Irby, this guy headed to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. We don't know how bad it is, but right now it doesn't look like he's likely to play any more football. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From the 28-yard line, second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Knocked out of bounds at the 22. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. This to try to put his team up by a field goal. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. it out to maybe the 39-yard line. I tell you what, you got to give these guys credit. They put up a great defensive effort in the first half. They carry it over in the second half. Doesn't look like they're going to give in. Yeah, and this game isn't over yet. I, I think it's going to require them to continue to play with this kind of edge and attitude to be able to give themselves a chance to win the game because we still have a ball game in our hands and still a whole quarter to go. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Play fake. Going long. And he's immediately tackled. First down. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Four down, four down. Mike eight. Mike eight. He's got an opening. He gets out to about the 11-yard line. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 13-10. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Tackle at the 14. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calling. That makes it second and 14. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 14-yard line. to the running back and he gets nowhere sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason it doesn't mean you throw the play away you just need to execute better next time and they get 
the sack. You know, the quarterback, I think, could have done a better job with a pre-snap read to be able to see and recognize the blitz. That way, he could have communicated and maybe adjusted the protection up front. That time, a miscommunication by the offensive lineman against the blitz freed up the defensive line to get the pressure on the quarterback. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The kick is up, and he got it. And with that field goal, we are all tied up. Yeah, well, that was a clutch field goal, without a doubt. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Brought down at the 27. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Get on the throw, he caught it. And they make the stop at the 34. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick throw, and he's hit immediately. That is not easy to stop. The quarterback hit his man on an out route, and the defender was in man coverage. As a defender in man coverage, you cannot get beat deep. And as a result, the underneath routes are going to be there. And as you can see, it worked out great for the offense as they were looking for a new set of downs. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Short over the middle. He's tackled at the 32. That makes it second and two. Just over two minutes in the game. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 20. Tackle made right around the 12-yard line. From the 12-yard line, first down. And they're in. Touchdown. Boy, 
they had to dig deep to score here that late in the fourth quarter and come from behind. And now the question is, can their defense dig in and win it for them? And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Well, at this point, Brad, this offense is just going to try to work the clock with the lead in the football. But you just never know in college football. Crazy things happen every single week. And will this game be one of those scenarios where something crazy happens late in the game to determine the outcome? That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line, second down. He's wrapped up for the sack. Stop your whining. Mike Ford. Just over a minute left. The offense calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. He sails it long. So the play of the day. Fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Touchdown! Here's the call from the referee. Delayed game, offense. Under a minute left in the game. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, we've talked a lot about this guy over the last few years. Here he is again, making it look easy. Yeah, he's just got a knack for coming up with a big play. Yeah, and with three sacks, you might want to start chipping this guy. You know, you better use a running back, you better use a tight ends, anything you can this long. With this one almost in the bag, he just wants to make a few more plays and hold on. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he's taken down at the 35. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. 
Quick pass. They'll bring him down at the 38. Third and six coming up. Ball on their own 41. Caught and out of bounds after a short game. A risky call going for it, but it paid off. That showed some real composure there by this offense. to the middle of the field. He's taken down around the 38-yard line. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. From the 38-yard line, first down. Throws it deep. And he tackles him hard at the four-yard line. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 27-13. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.